What's up, everyone? <laughs> Welcome to Main Gear on the Bench, the weekly show where we talk about the latest in tech, gaming, whatever you're interested in. I'm Ron Reed, marketing director here at Main Gear, and who do I have with me today? Uh, well, I don't know who that Brent, guy is, but I'm Brent. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Sean. I uh, need energy, guys. This is an, energy. This is an exciting day. Super. <laughs> I, I, I'm still full from uh, all the barbecue. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> What's up, guys? So, um, oh, it's finally here, right? So we've been, day. you know, there's been a bit of a, it's been a little quiet in PC mm -hmm. hardware, right? But I kind of feel like everything is happening now. And I'm, if you can't tell, I'm very 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 there's fireworks going off all this weekend <laughs> i'm super excited uh, i won't do that again i doo -doo promise tsh. i'm not gonna i won't just keep uh <laughs> plugging in super um and and guys just so you know so we're gonna we will answer questions during stream this is gonna be a little bit of a different thing than what we've been doing lately i think we'll we're only gonna really talk about one thing today because there's only one thing to talk about which is nvidia super um yeah but um, Brent is watching chat, so if you have any questions, uh, just let us know. So I guess kind of the frame this, at Computex this year, or just before Computex, um, NVIDIA kind of, you know, teased uh, something called Super. There's no information. They It was like a little teaser video. It was like video. a logo reveal, right? It was, I don't even <laughs> think it's the same logo, though. Oh, it was just like super, and then it was yeah. over. It was just super, and it was over, and and you know the internet was wildly speculating. What are they doing? And uh, this week we got the announcement of what super is. So, Nvidia has essentially refreshed most of the twenty series GPU stack uh, with super. Uh, so we have a twenty uh, RTX twenty sixty super, RTX twenty seventy super, and an RTX. 2080 super probably didn't have to say rtx before all of them but um <laughs> so basically they've they've refreshed all of those cards uh and we have new toys to play with so i thought we would start by kind of showing the rtx 2070 off i'm mm -hmm. gonna give the pleasure to sean and then we'll dive into specs and performance and all the other goodness all so right, so we'll go straight to the uh yeah unboxing so we have special Absolutely. unboxing cam here Ooh. for you <laughs> i'm pretty there impressed yeah. Brent, that was like super professional of you to set that camera up today. Uh, ready for this? <laughs> yeah. Uh, slow mo or fast? You got to go slow. There Anticipation go. is everything. There you go. NVIDIA does really get the um, the boxes, like the unboxing experience. Totally like that's correct. like, that yeah. doubles as a display case, hands down. Exactly. Exactly. I love, I love so. their boxes. <clears throat> so they, you know, they kind of made. Wait, are, are you going to do the peel for us oh, yes, in front so of your yes, microphone? Right, okay. All right, switch back the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if people can't hear this. A little, little bit of ASMR action going on right now. <laughs> Guys, close your eyes and listen. It's not that loud. I know. Surprisingly. That was, that was a little disappointingly quiet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you can you can see from camera, All they've, right, they've yeah. changed up the design quite a bit. The middle is now chrome. Um, I think it pops really nice to kind of differentiate it from the previous products. The industrial design of the card is the same. They just kind of like one up themselves a little bit yeah. with with the design of the of A the lot cards. more green on this one too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so chat is already asking what super is, so I guess we'll we'll dive into that. So uh what Nvidia has done with this launch is is basically refreshed the 2060, the 2070 and the 2080. Uh so essentially with this new super lineup of cards, you're getting, uh, and this is based on the number that they said, and we'll dive into some performance numbers, um, but you're getting up to 25% more performance when compared to the original card that the number is based the original on. Original RTX card. The original yes. RTX card. Um, and essentially, what NVIDIA has done here is really reline the whole uh, performance lineup in their lineup so that you're now getting... Like a, a pretty substantial performance bump for essentially the same price. Mm -hmm. uh, so to go into uh, a quick breakdown. Um, so the, be before you go there, Tom says the Chrome will help reflect the RGB, which makes me think these are the first RTX cards that have ray tracing on the inside <laughs> and the outside. <laughs> you, you know, I did not consider that, but that is <laughs> Fantastic. Right. So now you now you've got the uh, now you have the reflections Jeez. on the cards. <laughs> yeah. um, so the 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 way this is priced out is 
they're keeping the 2060, mm -hmm. um, which is, uh, I believe, 349. The RTX uh, 2060 Super is going to be 399. 2070 Super is 499. And the 2080 Super is 699. So essentially what NVIDIA has done here is they've up the performance by, you know, I, I've the, the benchmarks that I've seen and based on testing is like 15, 20, 25 percent mm -hmm. while keeping the prices the same on the 2080 and the 2070, uh, but massively improving the oh, amount of performance. Right. Uh, now, I think, Sean, it'd be cool. Let's go over uh, what the raw specs of these new super cards in and then we'll kind of talk a little bit more detail. Sure. Uh, and, and guys, um, like I said, feel free to ask us questions. Um, and I already see some, and I think we'll go over some basics of ray tracing and stuff too, mm -hmm. uh, just for people who aren't as familiar with all that stuff is. All right. So let's start with the 2070 Super. Energy, Sean. <coughs> all right. That's Super good. cards. Super cards. All right. <laughs> so the base clock for the 2070 Super is 16, uh, 1,605 megahertz, and the GPU boost clock is 1,770 megahertz. The CUDA core is bumped up to 2560 from 2304. Uh, it also has eight gigabytes of um, the 2060, which is which is the, the 2070 super. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, well, they all have, but the 2060 eight. super got eight gigabytes, and the 2060 it does had, not. It right, had like exactly. Four or which six. is a which is a major change. It's been something that. Um, Nvidia fans have been kind of asking for was yes, they wanted more. the eight gigabytes in the 2060. Yeah, exactly. Um, now, the, going to the 2060 Super real quick, uh, CUDA core went up to 2176 from 1920, which is a quite a significant bump on the 2060 Super. Yeah. Uh, base clock is 1470, and the GPU boost clock is 1650. And as Brent mentioned, it's a gigabyte of memory. Um, the biggest thing that, for me at least, uh, that's cool about the 2070... Uh, the, sorry. Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> the 2070 Super is that now you can SLI it. Right. So that's that's a big change. Yeah. Um, so, oh, really? Yeah. So yeah. to basically go over. That. So if you show it real quick. Kind of the. Yeah. So you can now. You couldn't SLI the 2070 before, but right. now the 2070 Super has SLI support. So essentially what NVIDIA has kind of done, if you look at the uh, benchmarks, and we'll go over in a bit more detail. Um, as C. Sirius Capo mentions that Linus Tech Tips did a great video. We're going to reference Hot Hardware, who's a great review site. Um, and it kind of shows some of their benchmarks. But um, if you look at the way they've positioned the stack, essentially what you're getting is the 2060 Super is like super close to where the 2070's performance was. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the 2070 Super is very, very close, close where, our, where the 2080, 2080. Mm -hmm. uh, regular 2080's performance was. Yes. And I think the reason this is really interesting, and we'll talk a little bit more about ray tracing, but this I think is kind of really from a performance standpoint, these cards are now positioned much better to handle ray tracing while gaming um, right. for the dollar amount. And mm -hmm. uh, I, you, I think um, some of the stuff I saw was 60 FPS, 1080p on the 2060 Super. Um, Which as the base like one of the base cards you want to be hitting a hundred percent sure um so basically ray tracing is now more approachable yeah across the board so this is at all resolutions at all, all resolutions, resolutions yeah. and it, it's really it, this is aggressive and it's it's really interesting because i don't i can't remember um i can't remember a generational kind of bump like this before mm -hmm. uh because we're what we're like 10 months out of the original 20 series launch mm -hmm. um and it's kind of unprecedented for NVIDIA to do this. And it it gets me really excited because your the performance per dollar at this is fantastic. fantastic. Like this is yeah. the, these cards are gonna be I it, they're just they're they're priced correctly and the performance is is really, really, really well exciting. and there's so many RTX based games nowadays that it's you're really buying into a, much more fleshed out ecosystem yeah, than the so, original cards too. So let's talk a little bit about RTX. I, you know, um, we still get questions about it. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we're the mm -hmm. I think the ner super nerds amongst us are really well versed, but I know it can be a little bit confusing. Um, Sean, can you just describe very quickly what? So these are all RTX cards, so they support Nvidia's RTX technology. Uh, yes. Can you just briefly explain what 
RTX means when you get a graphics card, because I think now, especially with the 2060 being such high performance, this is going to be a, a real big deal for people. Right. So, so uh, when you have an RTX, or actually when you have a ray tracing capable GPU and a ray tracing enabled games, you can actually uh, utilize the ray tracing capabilities in games to make them look better or uh, perform even better or even um, what do call this it enhance your 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 gaming that, so it was the biggest answer <laughs> well, ever you know ever. I, I was i was going to get into it, it i was much, gonna, I'll, I'll much, much, so it's much, like much better <laughs> dynamic ray tracing now right <laughs> rather than faking it where game developers like faked reflections exactly. before i was going to get into that but all right <laughs> carry on. with the world's <laughs> longest, and segue, longest go. Intro. yeah i'm not going to let you do it now you, okay, you okay, lost ahead, you it. lost your mic privileges yes they, take it away um <laughs> since I have said this on camera about 800 times, yes. uh, ray tracing is just <laughs> essentially an engine. Um, it's a it's a way of lighting uh, a, a game that's dynamic and realistic. So right. essentially, the game is able to calculate in real time the way that light would react in a scene, which means that the light isn't pre-rendered. It's being, um, in, in real time, it's being generated. So mm -hmm. things like reflections, uh, realistic lighting sources that have shadow and light fall off that make things look like they do in real life. Right. Uh, ray tracing empowers that. And if the, the best explanation is if you look at like crazy realistic 3D renderings that you see on the internet of, that are hyper realistic, those are accomplished by ray tracing because it's the only way to get truly what looks like true to life lighting is by tracing light scenes through a scene or light um, beams through a scene and seeing what they do instead of faking it because as no matter how good an artist is it's always going to be an interpretation of what he thinks the lighting should look like right. not the like scientific property of light so mm -hmm. ray tracing enables that and nvidia's rtx cards were the first time ever in gaming that we had access to this technology in real time uh, while you're playing a game um and it's becoming a really big deal if you look at the games that were announced at E3 that are going to support this. Oh, yeah. There's tons of them. So these games were kind of almost, in a lot of cases, a lot of people's best of show, and they all support ray tracing. So games that are going to support it, um, uh, Cyberpunk, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Bloodlines 2, okay. uh, the new Wolfenstein, Control, uh, NVIDIA did a Quake redo that had ray tracing yeah. um, in it that came out a couple weeks ago. So these are... I, I'm still waiting for Atomic Heart. Th that, that, that's <laughs> also Atomic on the Heart. list. Yeah. So these, these, are, these are not just like, like, we're not talking like indie titles or mm -hmm. these are proper AAA games that are in all likelihood going to be the best looking games of the year. Oh, uh, hands down. Pushing I, technology. I'm really curious about a, a set of Corsa, the racing game, doing ray tracing because... I, that that is probably going to be really impressive. Absolutely. So we have we have all these these games coming out, and now we have graphics cards that are uh, essentially you're getting more performance for your dollar. This is this is a great thing for gamers on the cusp of all of this stuff coming out. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the thing about ray tracing too is it doesn't just make the game look more beautiful, but you're going to get tactical advantages in a lot of these games, right? Absolutely. So like. In a first person shooter, if you have a reflective material, say like a mirror or a window along a wall around a corner, you can see the reflection of your enemy in that reflective surface and plan accordingly. Or like on a racing game, you know, there's all kinds of reflective surfaces, or maybe it's you have rain on the track and you're gonna see all that stuff too. Yeah, it, it's it's definitely really exciting. Um and I think this was the perfect timing. Uh, considering some stuff that we'll be talking about next week that is also new hardware. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think it's clear that this is like, this is the time if you're looking to uh, build or purchase a gaming PC, um, you have excellent options available to you. Um, and these really push technology forward. Yeah. Now, um, <laughs> the time is now. The time is, <laughs> Justin Von B says the time is now. Um, so, could you um 
Uh, Brent, I wanted to show just some of the charts from our friends over at Hot Hardware. Yeah. Just to kind of show the the raw numbers. You can kind of just briefly go over um, the the performance results that um, they did. And guys, I, I totally recommend if you're uh, if you're interested in reading hardware reviews, Hot Hardware is kind of my go to site. Um, those guys are are awesome. They do really good work. Um, independent journalists that give their honest reviews. Yeah, so in Unigen Superposition, which is one of the major standard benchmarks for graphics these days, uh, at 1080p, uh, the 2070 Super, you're getting 47 frames, and uh, this is the extreme preset, by the way, and at the 2080, you're getting 51 frames. And if you we jump down to scores here, you can see that these Super cards are like, if you go, so like you have the 2070 Super, which is like down a tier from the 2080, you're getting well between like halfway between the 2070 and the 2080. So the performance per dollar here is way, way higher. Especially if you consider like frame rates you would want with ray tracing enabled. Yeah. Um, it becomes even more like, like, like perfect. Yeah. Um, let's see. And then even in VR, you're seeing a lot a lot of improvements. So like, for example, the RTX 2080 got a score of 5183 in their VR future preset. Uh, and the 2070 got 4215, but then you have the 2070 Super here at 4814, which is, um, you're just like seeing, I, don't, I can't talk today. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but basically it's, it's, like, it's, it's, a, it's you're essentially, seeing really good. Yeah. Because like the 2080, what was the price of the 2080 when it came out? Six ninety nine. Okay, and then yeah. the 2070 Super is four ninety nine. Yeah, and getting you're getting six ninety nine performance for four ninety nine. Yeah, at like basically ninety percent ish of that performance is just amazing when it comes to price to performance. Absolutely. Uh, so they also uh, announced a, a games bundle uh, with the launch, which makes this even a better value. So you're going to get a copy of. Um, the new Wolfenstein, uh, two two RTX okay. titles, mm -hmm. so Wolfenstein and Control. Uh, Brent, I wanted to show the trailer for Control. Mm -hmm. uh, Nvidia did like a um, a breakdown of like the RTX stuff in it. Um, let me here. Don't are you playing it already? I am playing it already. Oh, darn it, Brent. <laughs> Super I, now. Brent. Well, I can't <laughs> talk about it if I can't see it. I don't have a screen anymore. Here, you want me to just stare here? Yeah, <laughs> You're not on camera. You want me? So. Do you want me to narrate what I'm seeing? Uh, so I I believe that. So you could see the reflections on the on the bottom. Uh, I don't know if they said specifically which RTX technologies, because uh, there's different ways you can implement implement, implement. Ray, ray tracing. tracing. Yep. Uh, it looks pretty clear here though that they're doing the um oh, doing go. the reflections. It may support global illumination as well. Right. Because it did uh, change quite a bit when they enabled right. RTX um on. Um, Brent, do you know anything about Control as a game now that I'm putting you on the um, spot? <laughs> <laughs> you have, like, psychic powers, obviously, and it looks really awesome. That's all I didn't really know about it. It seems like a pretty strong bundle. I. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Quantum Break, like a right. little bit. Okay. Oh, it's the same... So oh, is it by I believe, Remedy? I believe it's by Remedy. Oh, sweet. Oh, it is yeah, by Remedy. Then I'm no, totally going to play it this. It is by Remedy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I think it's really great that they're including something that will showcase uh, showcase RTX with the card itself. Oh, there you go. It says there, indirect diffuse. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. So you can see like how the projector screen, even though it's like being reflected, is casting light on all those books. Uh, Brad stuff. was asking how the 2080 Super compares to the 2080 Ti. So... Uh, the only benchmarks uh, available are for the 2070 and the 2060 Super. Yeah, because the 2080 Super doesn't come out next week. Right. So you'll be able to get a um, next week the other two cards. The 2070 wow, the are amazing. is yeah. launching a little bit down the road. They did publish. I'm on their website right now. They published like a. Um, they did have like one statement where the performance was. Um, uh, there is a chart, Brent, on NVIDIA's 20 series page that shows um, shows like a rough performance comparison. Um, it, there's no actual numbers. They're using like 5X, 4X, 
Uh, but I think it should give you a rough idea. Uh, are you able to find it? I think it should give you a rough idea of where they stand from a performance standpoint. It, essentially, there it's it's a really All nice. Right, here we go. It's a super nice slope uh, if you pull it up. Um, like there's there's really good um, increase in performance as you go up the stack. Uh, You're referring to this one. Yes. Yeah. So that that should give you guys a rough idea. Um, now these are Nvidia's numbers, so it's not a um, uh, it's not like a direct benchmark, but their their numbers were accurate for the twenty series launch originally. So um, I always like to include that little little snippet, though. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to like I feel like the this really opens up some excellent configuration options for the performance standpoint. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we will have stage systems that have uh, the super cards in them um, and they will be available on our configurator as soon as we're able to. But I think the value you're going to get in certain price points is going to be tremendous. Like a, a $1,500 um, PC with a 2060 super in it. Uh, is going to be a 1440p monster. Yeah, you're going to be able to play at higher resolutions, higher frame rates, um, and, it, and it, with all that RTX. Too. Exactly. Um, bring back the graphic you just had up. Okay, chat is bossing us around now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's do it. Okay. I appreciate it, chat. What questions do you guys have about the launch? So, um, Let me find the graphic again. I, I was hasty and closed the tab. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Pull it up. Okay, I'm gonna make it bigger for you guys too. Just make it huge. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so here's the graphic. So, uh, what questions do you guys have about these um, these graphics cards? I'm not sure there's much to dive into specifically. We're gonna be doing another live stream Monday for another hardware launch. So there's a whole another thing that we haven't talked about with RTX cards, Ooh. which is NVENC encoding. Oh, so okay, so Brent Brent is, Brent is our community <laughs> manager, which means that he manages our stream. And that is a great point because it's something that gets overlooked pretty I think we've seen this graphic long enough. Uh yeah. <laughs> it it gets overlooked pretty wildly. Um so Brent, can you explain what NVENC encoding is and like what because you kind of went through this yourself personally, right? Yeah. So um and I have a little buyer's remorse like some of the people in our chat, but that's okay. Um <laughs> So normally when you stream, you do software encoding, which does, it's really heavy on your CPU. And so what NVIDIA did with the RTX cards is they updated their NV encoder driver. So it also updated for GTX cards, just not as much. Okay. But on the RTX cards, they included a special encoder chip. Um, so you can... Is it is it a separate encoder? Yeah, it's a it's separate encoder. It's not using the RTX chip. ones, right? No, so it doesn't use the RTX okay. cores. So, so I think they upgraded it essentially because I'm pretty sure they had one previously, but it wasn't as powerful. But I could be yeah. incorrect. So you can play um, games with RTX on and encode on the GPU. Gotcha. And the performance loss from encoding is like very minimal. It's like one or two frames. Because it's not using the resources yeah. that are needed to render the game to do the encoding. Mm -hmm. It's a separate piece of silicon that's optimized for encoding video essentially. So my PC at home um, is a little bit older and it had like a 6700 Okay, for the processor, but I bought a RTX 2060 and threw it in there. And now I can game and stream on this uh, single PC like no problem. And I'm playing like overwatch at 1080p like well over 144 hertz they, they also they i know they dramatically improve the i the way it works i think it previously used to just capture the frame buffer and then render it out yeah so they actually like updated the codec within obs too which essentially means that you get really really smooth uh smooth video pay, playback especially if you're playing like fast twitchy games like overwatch yeah uh, it looks fantastic mm -hmm. um oh yeah that's that's the other part that i didn't even mention like it when on the nv encoder it's equivalent to encoding on i think it's x264 at like medium which with encoding you go from like very fast fast medium slow 
It's a very it's slow, slow, and very slow. Slowest. Like nobody can run that. Yeah. Right. It's like <laughs> it doesn't work. Maybe if you have like a like a thirty two core, dedicated like some server, yeah. like CPU. <laughs> um, and so it's actually like better quality than most people can get on X two six four, which is pretty <laughs> amazing. Right. Yeah. Uh, Rodney Thomas asks, "I'd like to know if the twenty seventy super outperforms the twenty eighty I have now. It does not. Um, it it basically has has bumped the performance to." getting close to the 2080 um, mm-hmm. but from the benchmarks it is it still underperforms a 2080 by yeah, a little right. bit now, now to segue to your uh, to that question real quick um, for customers who have the older generation 1080 cards like 10 series cards right just for reference the 2060 super is faster than the GTX 1080 which is yeah. which is fantastic Fast, yep the like, 2070 Super is faster than 1080 Ti, which is, which is perfect. <laughs> and, and the 2070 so, Super is 399. You said or 499. Uh, 499. 499. Yeah. yeah. And the last is 2080 Super, and it's faster than the F- Titan XP. Right. Yeah. Right. The, that good that is six. bonkers. It, it, that's actually a good point, Sean. Is when Super deals. <laughs> we each get one. Yeah, that yeah. was mine. <laughs> <laughs> when you, you get yours, one. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> It's it's a good point when you look at the generational jump, like um, because I'm sure uh, most people honestly are probably uh, holding on if to, they yeah. if they don't have a um, if they don't have a twenty uh, a twenty series card now they're probably upgrading from a ten series card. Right, there's and, no reason to. Hold and if back. you're on a nine series card, like oh holy boy, cow, it's a for huge, a whole new world, huge huge <laughs> jump. Yeah. And Jason Bizarro points out, which we mentioned earlier in the stream, also that the 2070 now supports SLI, yes. which which I know, Sean, you're particularly excited about. I, I'm always a huge fan for multi-GPUs. Um, I do miss the old school four-way or three-way SLI, but that's just me. <laughs> that's just because you wanted to put great. as many dang GPUs yeah, it in, looks the great in the system. It looks, it you looks just want ways to fill full, full towers. Full tower, yep. If you could put 16 GPUs in a oh, computer, I would. you would. I would. <laughs> no, that's, I mean, that's a tremendous value, though, because two yeah. $500 GPUs, you're going to get an immensely crazy, powerful. crazy, crazy performance yes. um, with the 2070. I, I'm excited to see... Um, Maybe we'll do uh, benchmarks of of two way mm-hmm. in ray tracing because oh, that'd be cool. I think that's actually going to be a, a really great value. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so, guys, do you have any more more questions? Um, just a real quick thing, um, Brian. Can you show this real quick, just yeah. so uh, our audience can see? The twenty seventy super is now a six and an eight. No longer just a single six like how it used to be. It's very similar to the twenty. Well, when it's more yeah. powerful than a ten eighty Ti, I'm not it, surprised. Exactly. <laughs> now, just letting people know that if they do have a current twenty seventy and they plan to upgrade to a twenty seventy oh, yeah. super, make oh. sure you got the make cables. sure you get the right power. Make sure you get the right cables. Yes. Yeah, and so um, the other thing to mention too is so the as far as the current cards, the twenty sixty is staying, yep. which is a good price aggressive. Uh, card that's still fantastic for 1080. I mean, that's like equivalent-ish to a 1080. Right. So that's perfect. Uh, But the 2070 Super and 2080 Super basically replaced the 2070 and the 2080. 2060. Uh, 2080, 2080, sorry. 2080. Um, Too many numbers. I know. It's hard to keep track of. Um, Uh, I think uh, think it might be fun next week to do like some gameplay. yeah, for sure. To, to do some gameplay, uh, maybe an RTX game. We haven't done that in a long time. Actually, maybe with Oblivious with Nick, you can make him play a game with RTX. There we go. And get his opinion. Maybe we'll play some Battlefield. On ray tracing. I, I know mean, he's itching to play like We a, threw him into Apex Legends. Maybe we'll throw him into Firestorm just for more Battle oh, Royale. Yes, 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 <laughs> yeah, if you want to see... Are we calling it like a bro down that happened this week? or A bro down? Yeah. A bro oh, the down. Starcraft thing? No, no, no. The... the uh, Oh, him broing out. Him broing out yeah, on I'd this week's live stream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you want to, if you want to check um, check out us playing some games this week on our show, Oblivious with Nick. They played Apex Legends, and Nick just died about five hundred times. It was just, it was pretty horrible. It was a little painful <laughs> to watch. Um, I think that's going to be it from today's stream, guys. Uh, we're, you know, I know I've said it about four hundred times, but. Um, this is a huge deal um, 
And I think this is really invigorating as a PC gaming enthusiast to see uh, just something so exciting as NVIDIA doing a a, a mid-generational bump like this that's so aggressive that offers such great performance. Um, oh, actually, Rodney had a great uh, question. Um, uh, ray tracing on Battlefield 5 has improved now? A hundred percent. So yeah. a lot of the kinks that that are are fixed by now. Yeah. So um, you know there was when when Battlefield first came out, um, the once you enabled ray tracing, uh, some people were a little disappointed in the performance, and it literally was just a driver update. I think it was like two weeks later, Nvidia released a driver update that, that drastically improved like the like performance. like what yeah. was it like forty percent thirty? It was yeah. it was enormous. Battlefield plays fantastic with ray tracing on. Uh, if you're looking for a title that really demonstrates ray tracing, I think Metro might be my favorite. Metro's gl global elimination is impressive. It's the showpiece for me yes. for what mm -hmm. uh, Brent, I don't know if you want to put on a quick video of it. It's the the <laughs> demos are. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, the uh, get to the video fast. The, 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 <laughs> the demos are are. Kind of just a bit A/B testing, but yes. um, Metro really shows the part of ray tracing that is, excites me, which is making dynamic lighting that feels realistic. Yep. I, as a person that's a photographer, I kind of like oh, lighting is. Everything. I'm always looking at light around me and yep. noticing the contrast between shadow and highlights, and um, you know, video games typically it's it's unrealistic. It's like I'm in this room, there's a bright window, and like the the corner to the left is like bright as just as bright as, as the where other part in right. shadow but there's like a color temperature difference exactly um yeah so this video actually is really good comparison okay so keep talking. yeah so this this video shows what um what i think ray tracing can really do also metro is just a great game sean you're playing uh, through it oh right now, i right? love metro i this just finished beautiful. it yesterday okay and you played all of them how did you feel this stacked up to the other ones it's true to the story okay. um they did not like divulge from from the whole th this is actually more impressive because it's the way i put it is like it's a it's an open world version of of oh that's cool um metro so a little so less it's like a fallout a little less focused basically exactly you're, okay. you're, you're less quarter shooter right okay. you're welcome to 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 explore the world a little bit it's still very guided but it's much more is it still massive. that same like scarcity of ammo and like oh, creepy yes. yeah so you, maybe you, it might even feel a little bit like stalker it it is then. still like stalker. Okay. Uh, you can't craft your weapons now, um, and you can't craft your ammo. So okay. So you you're you're encouraged to um, what do you call that? Go around and and grab. It's stuff. It's a game that makes you feel very stressed because you don't have like unlimited bullets yeah. and. Uh, but the Metro games have always been like huge PC showcases. Uh, we always use the benchmark here to like test new graphics cards because it. It really pushed the boundaries they, of PC it, graphics, and this is no exception. They always do lighting very well, the atmospheric lighting, yeah. reflection, because it's always been the, the the core of it. You need you need the lighting, you the, need the shadows. The detail of the world almost like accentuates the like loneliness yes. of it. Yes, <laughs> for sure. And uh, it's even more prevalent now because it's just like you're out in the open world, and you've always been in the metro, right? In the, right, in the right. winter. I guess now, it feels more empty and Yeah. Now you're in the desert and this and it's like real. I would definitely check that out. If you have a uh, a twenty series card, actually regardless of what graphics card you have, but especially if you have a twenty series card. Well, if you have a twenty series card, you definitely want to play with RTX on. A hundred percent with and RTX. Is this on. the one that's in Xbox Game Pass yes. for PC right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So definitely. Oh, There's that, no reason not. That's to. actually yeah. a really good point. Yeah. Because uh, you can sign up for Game Pass for like a buck. It's a dollar. I think. Or if you currently own an Xbox and have Xbox Live Gold, you can upgrade to Game Pass for a dollar right now, and it just like that's awesome. Yeah. It's amazing. Uh, Jason <laughs> McAndrew said, "What is the game called? It's called Metro uh, Exodus." Exodus. Uh, it's the third mm. it's the game th third in the Metro series. Do you need yeah. to play the other ones in order to enjoy it? Ideally, yes. You could probably just I read haven't. Reviews. That's why I'm concerned. Uh, just read the back backstory. Watch like a YouTube supercut yeah. of like the story yeah, so of far. who the character is and everything because it's a continuation. Of oh, it is. Okay. I found the I found Metro like a little stressful. Um, like uh, this, this isn't your leisure game. You no, know, it's not. <laughs> no, it's definitely it's not, not your yeah. your Minecraft. <laughs> no, like the the. Well, it's very intense. And like the yeah, no, yeah, it's either you 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 can go 
crazy and go shooting everything, but then you won't have enough bullets. No, then you're screwed. Everyone. That's my problem right. is I get stressed and I'm just like, I get to kill everything. And then I'm like, okay, well now I'm just screwed. It's a lot more stealth. And then yeah. you have to ration your, your, your health, um, your med kit and your, um, what do you call that? The, the air, um, uh, oxygen. Not the, it's not an oxygen. It's a filter. The air filter. Oh, okay. oh I yeah. hate games that have yeah, like radiation. because you have the radiation. You yeah. have to. Oh man. Yeah, you can't run around. Maybe I won't play. Just play it for the ray tracing. Maybe I. <laughs> is there like a a mod where I can just like have infinite bullets and that and I can just uh, walk around? Is there like a? Like I mean, we could just. Mode? Nah. The other thing uh, we could do is we could just load up the mods for Minecraft and play that with ray tracing on. <laughs> that that looked super cool. I can't imagine that runs well. You, you it's like so that? much juxt <laughs> juxtaposition because it's like here's this amazing lighting and then like on like square block. Cubes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. Um, it's cool to see all this stuff coming out. I'm really excited about the future of what uh, ray tracing has to show. And the thing that excites me the most is the games that I'm really looking forward to for the most part, I'll support it, especially yeah. cyberpunk. That was a oh, big deal yeah. to me. I um, can't wait to see the, the, I, I really hope global illumination is, is enabled with all those different lights. C project has a history of pushing, pushing the boundaries, yeah. especially with NVIDIA technologies. Even, um, I mean, you could even saw things that like, in 3. like hair works and yeah. stuff looked really great in the Witcher three. Yeah. Um, they're, they're as a developer, they're one of the best of implementing that stuff. And I'm sure cyberpunk is going to be, uh, no different. <laughs> I can't find the like actually good Minecraft video. <laughs> Sorry. You, you can't find the uh, the ray tracing one? Yeah, they're all like kids yelling and oh. stuff. Ro Robbie <laughs> said I, I can lessen the difficulty that doesn't rely on uh, ammo and air filters. Yeah, that's true. So I guess I can play it through on easy mode. I guess mode. you can story mode. So <laughs> I, maybe, maybe I'll There is also alternate endings, uh, which I have to dig into more ab about it because oh, apparently cool. the way you handle the world and and your enemies oh like your choices your choices yeah. so, that's neat. because not all enemies are it's uh, there's a, a gray area not all enemies are bad enemies okay there's there's enemies oh okay so th there's some have to there's be. some character decisions yeah. can you yeah. can you like stealth in there oh it's, it's I, I, I played the game 100 percent stealth can you not kill people uh no you well, some enemies you have to really kill to get to certain points can you not kill people well, well, I, yeah no no no, no. but some <laughs> no, games like, what, some what? games let you play yeah. pacifist and yes. oh, yeah. um i always start games like that like mm -hmm. i'm gonna i'm gonna do a pacifist run and then it gets side. hard and then i'm like <laughs> I'm, you get nope, frustrated. I'm all done yeah i'm not gonna screw this like, this guy's a jerk he's I don't gone have the I, I don't know how people like if you ever look at people that have done those uh mm -hmm. runs in like dishonored or Oh yeah, oh, or yeah. play like the first Mirror Edge without picking up a gun and shooting anybody. I, I it's just impossible. don't. I just don't. <laughs> yeah, I, I, apparently I have to kill people. I cannot go the. Yeah, Andrews. there's there's parts you. According just can't. to Michael, yeah. uh, this is not the pacifist game on for Facebook. you. It's not. <laughs> and actually, the I mean, I'm not a pacifist. I'm playing Red Dead right now, and I am. You know, I depending there on the situation. Go. I the game actually <laughs> makes you want to. Uh, sorry for saying this. Makes you justifies you doing what you do. Okay. So, uh, you know, that's good. You, that you means it's good kill. storytelling. Yeah. Yeah. Big, big, like some people are just torturing people, you know, so you were like, okay, I don't feel bad about doing this. It's not like Tomb Raider or Uncharted where you're just like, why did I just murder <laughs> like yeah, 40,000 people? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, it's like, I mean, who's the real bad guy? That here? sounds fantastic. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> that sounds. And I love the storytelling. That it, sounds really good. Yeah. And it sounds like it's a good showpiece for RTX. So I, I highly recommend then if you're, um, you know, you're going to, with these new super cards, you're going to get two free games and then buy Metro and you'll be busy for a long time with RTX yeah. well, goodness. Okay. Wolfenstein is just, you know how Wolfenstein is. It's just yeah, all they, out. Those, those games have been, those <laughs> games have been And then you can play fantastic. Cyberpunk, game of the century. I, so far. I still don't believe it's going to. Yeah, be. I'm going to just get on the hype train. Why not? <laughs> yeah, just, just hop on it. I just don't want to be disappointed. I, I know. Man. I mean, I'm scared too. I get to see Keanu Reeves in RTX. That's enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Imagine those uh, reflections on his eyes. Right. They're going to be fantastic. Yeah. Are you just going to stand closely at him and, all and the... like stare, stare <laughs> at his eyes? <laughs> Okay, I think that's going to be it, guys. Um, definitely subscribe to our newsletter. Um, you will be able to get a Minger PC with RTX Super um, 
very, very, very soon. Uh, yep. We will be back Monday for another, another hardware exciting. live stream, yep. da, da, da. Um, <laughs> which is kind of a great pairing to go with these super cards. Uh, so stay tuned. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely check out our website. So vague soon. <laughs> I, I, I mean, it's clear. So AMD announced the uh, Ryzen announces uh, announcement. So yeah. so we all know um, what it is. Yeah, I know. I don't know why I'm actually like being quiet. <laughs> um, but it, no, it's cool. So like essentially with increased performance for the dollar with RTX Super and then what's coming from Ryzen. Your beast PCs. Oh my God. They're like they're, it's... I mean, I I actually I I'm saying this now. I'm going to I'm I'm building a new PC soon. I don't think I've Ooh. been this exciting for hardware PC in a long time. Well, I I, I haven't gotten this like one two punch exactly. kind of situation. Yeah. So uh, I'm definitely building a PC soon with Super. Uh, I think I'll probably go with the 2070 Super just because. I mean, it's. Solid card. I'm not a 4K gamer, so mm -hmm. I feel like um, I mean this will. I mean that's this the will, one that beats out the 1080 Ti, right? Yeah, it's yeah. close to the 2080 uh, performance. So which makes sense why they added SLI now, because if it's better than the 1080 Ti, two of them. Yeah, yeah. So I think um, I think for the like the the gaming I tend to do um, just fun says now nah, just get the 2080 Ti, <laughs> <laughs> just go all out. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I'm I'm definitely I'm definitely gonna upgrade to super and a new processor soon i think oh boy uh it's the perfect we'll time have to like live build your computer on. actually well, that would be we, we, you always get customers who are like oh i'm not sure should i buy now if it's like is something well, gonna come out soon like th I, this this will be the perfect time to yeah. if not now then. you you can't have like a more ideal situation to buy a pc with yeah so much new stuff coming out to be like, okay, I'm going to have the latest and greatest right. and this is going to be the best. Unless some new RGB technology comes out <laughs> in the next three days. <laughs> we we did set the RGB stand. They'll, they'll, they'll add a new letter. They'll, RGB they'll, W. They'll, they'll add colors, RGB colors, colors you can't see but you can feel. Like gamma radiation? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll have superpowers. It's infrared. <laughs> RGB <laughs> U, ultraviolet. Add like you know like oh I can tan next to my PC yes. I don't know I don't know what's next for RGB. I hope you can't tan. They're I, gonna yeah something, but U, it's just UV black light. light. It like sucks in light. <laughs> it's the, the opposite anti -light. of anti light. <laughs> anti light. <laughs> okay, all right. As it forms a singularity inside your computer that just sucks in. Uh, this is just black. Don't inside. worry, the super it's cards can handle it. <laughs> the super cards can handle it. We'll ray trace the heck out of that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, All thank right. thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, make sure to uh, subscribe to our newsletter and follow us on social media to find out. Um, about all the cool stuff we're doing. Uh, tune in Wednesday for uh, our show Oblivious with Nick. Where we'll play some RTX game. We're going to play some <laughs> RTX game. Uh, and then make sure to tune in Monday, Monday. too. Uh, for the so Monday, and for, Monday is the unusual for the thing. next part of our new series. What's new in hardware? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. I, uh, can I do it one more time, Brent? Do what? Do, you, just say yes. I mean, Sean still has his, so he you he can donate. Yours. Okay. Wait, what? Can you, can you donate yours to me? <laughs> donate what? Just say yes. Yes. Well, I hope you guys have a super weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, hope you guys had a good 4th of July. <laughs> Peace and out, everyone. <laughs>